Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am Brett Kai Vectra and I would like to welcome you to the runway. Today, we have the pleasure of viewing the Gucci Spring Summer 2025 Ready to Wear show. I like the layout just immediately. First model up. I like the necklace. Monochromatic charcoal gray. I like the red and yellow room. Cute boots. I like this romper right here. But the gloves also good. I like the boots there. I like the head wrap. I like the shades. And now we're jumping into the red. It's a nice leather look. Yeah, the boots are really on point. But you know, Gucci having the leather goods, with Gucci being a leather goods house, you expect the leather goods to really be nice. That's a gorgeous asymmetrical cape. Nice midi dress. Just long enough to cover her legs, just short enough to show off those boots. Again, okay, nice shade of red we're seeing, especially on the leather goods. Comes across to be a little darker, a little richer. Have that bit buckle on those boots there. I like the wispy, lacy looks. Now this is one of the early collections from Mr. Sabato, a Sarno, the brand new creative director for Gucci taking over from Mr. Alejandro Michelle, who is at Valentino, which I need to check out. That's the best thing I keep saying we need to view some Valentino shows on the channel. So subscribe if you're interested in that. There's Miss Soretti. And you know, I think that's a good... Oh, I like this one. Dazzling down the runway. That's gorgeous. Love the shades, absolutely. And the fact that we had the stones on the boots as well. Now, most of the looks that we've seen thus far kind of segue into what I wanted to talk about. I read an article about Sabato De Sarno uh, as he was introduced as the new crea Gucci creative director. 
and he spoke about how people could define his work as minimalist and you know very kind of simple straight to the point but he talked about how you know he's he's really into wearability he wants to make clothes that people want to wear that want to buy four months later after seeing the show not just for not just see the show you know hold their cameras out like you see here and then forget about it the next day but you you know right off the bat again i haven't seen any of sabato's work um you can definitely see why people would describe it as kind of straightforward simple minimalist you have some a nice tassel swirling design here oh that's a nice touch on the bag but those earlier looks the white dress that we saw the high come on almost crew neckline and the one that Victoria Soretti was wearing right behind her, the black iteration. I saw those and I was like, okay, yeah, this, this is kind of minimalistic. I like this neon green here. Oh, we're getting more. I like light greens, teals, and stuff like that for spring and summer. Nice to see that we're going to get that and not just stay on red, yellow, and black primarily. Cute hat, nice heels. I like these racing gloves that we see. Very, very nice. Racing gloves are really a nice touch, especially for an Italian house. And you see so much red and yellow, you can't help but think about Ferrari. We had a great spring summer show, by the way. Check that out on the channel. We already reviewed that. Yeah, those are gorgeous gloves in every color iteration. I like this mini skirt. Absolutely. We're getting all the colors that we want, at least that I want for spring and summer, white, lights. Nice peplum top. And I like the clutch. Really long. And I like the handle. Camera work is pretty cool. Getting to see a lot of different angles in real time. This is cute. Nice sequence look. Yeah, that's really nice. I love silver so much. Silver heels to go with it. To me, you can't overdose silver. You can go a bit with the bag, of course, with the bracelets, necklaces. Gold can get very tacky if you overdose it. But to me, you can't overdose silver. What say you? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, I like that coat with the popped collar. Those frames are beautiful. Those red lenses. Poison Ivy vibes. I 
I love the dual straps on these heels that we're getting as well. two-bit loafer, the two-bit boots rather. Those are very clean, versatile. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And this is kind of like in line with what we saw from the Hermes show. That cognac tan browns, camel browns, smooth as butter. I love this denim and trench look. Look at that coat. That is gorgeous. Oh, but look at this one. That sand, almost white iteration. Absolutely, we get a green one as well. Those coats are a killer. I like the denim. Very, very cool. A lot to like here. Something for everyone. Definitely was right on about being wearable. And these, I believe that he achieved this goal with making garments that anybody in his audience could go to the Gucci boutiques and want to buy four to six months later. I was a little, you know, the first look was pretty underwhelming. You know, normally you, you see designers really put their best foot forward with that first look. Yeah, the duet right there. Holding hands. Those dresses right there were probably the least exciting pieces in this whole collection. I thought it would be the first look, or maybe even the second one, just that tank and the cargos, but those two dresses right there, I was like, Okay, I, I can definitely see the minimalist, but I do like the bracelets. The one, the ones that are high up the arm as well, around the tricep. The styling was very nice here. The accessories were good. Again, the lighting, the ambiance, the venue was on point. Painting the room red, I like it. Those hats are so cute. But you have, you've got some badass glasses. Nice job. Nice job. Now there's a men's Gucci show. I need to watch it. I want to say he's over the men's department as well. I don't think it's split out like Louis Vuitton. But we will see. So stay tuned. long runway speaking of which this record that we've been listening to the entire time is titled runway by yours truly Brett Kai vector you can stream it links will be in the description box and in the comment section and it's just a backdrop song that I made for high fashion runways such as this kind of with a glossy undertone glossy sonic aesthetic just like the floor here figured it'd be good I hope you enjoyed it just like I enjoyed watching this show stay tuned for Bread's Picks okay nice show here like I said there was a lot to like here but in this segment of the show I'm going to talk about the looks that I really liked and love. First look that I really liked was here. 
love the chocolate brown the look before it was cute but this one was the first one i really liked because it's not just a monochromatic look that head wrap on top really caught my attention we have a nice kind of green yellow red almost primary collage head wrap there We've got some nice frames that really suit the model and the boots here you know we saw a little bit of these boots these two-bit buckle Gucci loafer iteration for the, in the boot form. I really like it. Again, sleek profile of those Venetian cut loafers that I love. But instead, we have a high, what, probably knee-high, knee-high height shaft boots. Like the bag. Nice halter neck. It's just nice for spring and summer. Nice and light. This look right here following her. Again, love her head wrap. The burst of color, really nice. The frames here are pretty cute. Frames here are pretty cute. Again, I love the red leather. It's dark, it's sexy, and it's just, it's a really juicy kind of, you know, the red leather here really calls to mind the Rick James album cover, Street Songs, <laughs> where Rick James, and he had these red leather boots, that same kind of dark red leather that we see here, except his boots were thigh highs. They were insane. We're talking about the 80s here. My man had the Atlanta Falcons colored Rickenbacker bass, which I, I still want one of those. And he had a really nice black leather jacket. It looked pretty cool to me. <laughs> Rest in peace to Rick James, man. He was the guy. I absolutely love this look. I, I think this double-breasted coat is just gorgeous. Again, like I said, the gloves, the purse, it's Gucci with leather goods. They're really good for it. Oh my word, this was one of like a, a, a an empress or something. I, I really love this. First off, I mean, this model freaking kills. I mean, her walk, her sway was was just insane. You get to see the back. First off, I love the backless design with the cape covering everything but the torso. That's just, that's excellent. But the front, oh my word, with the gold touches there again that high bracelet on the triceps i love the bracelet on the wrist absolutely man it brings so much balance because you already have the asymmetrical cape on the left side fits really well and again at the perfect height man it's at the perfect height to reveal these these cute boots and you could have gone chocolate boots with the black. I'm not mad at it here. Gorgeous. As long as it has gold on the buckles, that was stellar. One of my absolute favorites, man. Dark eyeshadow, heavy mascara, sexy look. I mean, this is just, this is a killer look, man. I, I absolutely love that one. Red section was strong overall. Again, you saw this lacy look with the leather gloves, with the leather bag. This leather jacket and skirt here was beautiful. You know, on first pass, I wasn't the biggest fan of these looks. I'm still not the biggest fan, but I definitely like the all black iteration more. Those boots and stuff, I, I think it works. The, the, the dress itself isn't the most impressive thing in the world, but an all black dress with knee high boots, that, that does it for me. Now, this one right here, the black section in general was pretty bland until we saw this. Uh, you saw the backless cut out, but these studs adorned all over the boots and this beautiful midi. This is so gorgeous. You even see the model smiling, which you guys know, this is high fashion. We take it seriously. So there's not, there's not a lot of smiles on the runway, but you have to smile like this woman was one of the best looks she knew she got one of the best looks gorgeous shades as well yeah that i mean front to back this look was just it was stunning and the bag as well had the studs hell yeah dude it, it's this was that's what really spiced it up because all the other black looks pretty much were pretty bland so so kind of ho-hum not this one absolutely killer and the best of the black section this was intriguing you know i didn't really 
I'm not the biggest fan of tassels, um, so I really, whenever designers pull them out, I'm really, you know, for me to really like it, it's got to be used in a tasteful way, I would say. Uh, and here, I would say so. It, you know, the, the squiggly, you know, the squiggly, swirly, snake, snake design of the tassels on the front. You know, I can work with it, but that bag really impressed me. The gloves, the color, the olive, the f the brown with this kind of forest green. Oh, I, I absolutely love what the gold touches. I, I can't get enough of the color scheme, the whole layout. That works. If you're into garments like this, I think these were cool. You know, these days we're seeing a lot of lacy see-through looks and it's not that i'm against that because i'm really not this dolce and gabbana show i think it was a fall winter show women's show that i i think is sick it's the one in, with naomi campbell in it we'll, we're gonna touch on that one that one is 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 killer it's got all kinds of see-through looks the chloe fall winter was absolutely gorgeous it's not that i'm against see-through it's just you know, these garments are expensive and we're talking about high fashion here. I like garments that feel substantial, um, you know, that don't kind of, and when you get these like super thin fabrics and that's like the main portion of the composition, it, to me, it comes across as like a little cheaper. To me, I think that's my biggest problem with it. I, I really like garments that feel like they're worth the, the money that you're gonna be paying like this look right here I like the neon I love those heels with the two straps across her foot and again it's a cute neon dress I like it it's just so thin man I just it's so thin but the embroidery on it is really nice and as I pointed out earlier I like the frames I like the color it's it's fine but to me like I don't know I like the necklace with the gold touches that match the bangles, the ring, etc. But the shades are my favorite probably piece of that whole look. And those are definitely worth the money, the shades. Like this one, the mini shorts, speed racer gloves. This one was super cute. I mean, look at the silhouette of everything. Love the volume that the mini skirt has here. Really balances out the silhouette with that gorgeous wide brim hat that we have. Got the slender top that really just works well again with those sleek and chic gloves. It's, it's, a, it's a really well balanced look. The hat is gorgeous. The bag, the mules, the color. I just love that forest swampy green. Two things about this look really gives me this kind of outdoorsy swampy foresty feel definitely the color for sure but look at like the kind of unstitched fabric designs that we get on the hat and on the skirt it almost is like leaves or camouflage material you know that like the military would wear or something like some sort of hunter's gear this was clean this was cute the green section was nice those two being the best this white was cute i like it i was this skirt could have been a little bit more streamlined instead of poofy here i don't know it just didn't doesn't work as well here that it did with the green but i like the, the white iteration very prissy very clean the gloves and then the silver surfer here sequence galore with a nice gradient down to the white. I absolutely love this. Again, she had a slight smile on her face. She knew she had one of the best looks. Silver pumps. Silver shoes. Silver handle on the bag. Silver strap on the bag as well. With the tassels. Silver strap on the bag. That's tassels. I just love it. Like I said, you can't OD silver, in my opinion. This is just, it's, it's killer. As I said earlier, I'm a fan of rich garments. Here is what I'm talking about with this chocolate brown look. Look at the texture of the fabric with the patterns. I love the play between chocolate brown and black. 
absolutely man that's killer i didn't even realize the black touches until a second pass with the black shades hell yeah man and they chose the right model i like it i like it man one of my favorite ones here see this is worth this is substantial design to me you know the fact the fabric is not too thin and you know that see-through fabric is it's sexy don't get me wrong it's cute the time and the place for it but to me these timeless pieces like this i mean that's just a gorgeous crop top again these two looks from the green section i really like the turned up collar again with the darker green around the lapels yeah this is a really nice spring green here Ah, it's a wedge, see-through wedge on the shoes. Didn't expect that. What do you guys think about those? Walking on air illusion, but I love those shades, man. Again, we saw those on an earlier kind of spring lime green look. I, I can't get enough of these shades. I think these are stellar. Very cute burgundy romper here. That's the best thing since sliced bread. I think it's suede as well okay you know that you know i'll take that with the red gloves i like the swooping neckline and backline yeah the burgundy shoes absolutely but last but not least these trench coat and denim looks took the cake they took the cake they stole the show for me personally uh the first one the white sand iteration absolutely stunning one after the next we got a lime green one with a cute head wrap the blue and pink on top now i like how we got that aerial view so we got to see the top of the head wrap and then of course the matrix trinity look sick sick so that is bread's picks those are my thoughts what do you think about this show what do you think about the looks that i highlighted i think this is great uh mr sabato uh the sarno has a lot to be proud of and i look forward to seeing more of his work let me know what you guys think again in the comment section below thank you very much for watching your viewership is very much appreciated i hope to see you next time but until next time you have a great day.